Hi everyone, welcome to Couch Based Coding with Matthew Groves. This is a 10 minute slice of my day as a developer advocate. Live on, well, not Twitch anymore, it's on YouTube uh, today, uh, every day. Uh, check out old episodes on that URL up there, that should still work. And please email or tweet some comments and questions to me as you think of them. Alright, before we start some business, I said that when I started this live streaming it was an experiment. We're on to the next phase of the experiment. I'm broadcasting on the official Couchbase YouTube channel. I haven't quite figured out chat yet for YouTube, so maybe that'll appear tomorrow. I apologize for not having that today. Uh, one more thing, I'm going to be at a conference this Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th. So the live streams those days will be in the evening on those two, two days, evening Eastern time, assuming I get back to the hotel at a reasonable time and internet is actually working. All right, so today I'm going to uh, give you a sneak preview of the upcoming Couchbase Connect New York conference. This is going to actually going to be a series that spans the next two weeks. This conference is scheduled for May 9th and 10th, 2018. It's going to be jam-packed full of Couchbase stuff from our engineers, customers, partners, lots of great technical content. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you stay to the end of the, uh, the stream today, I'm going to give you a coupon code, give you a free admission to uh, the main day of that conference. So stay tuned for that at the end. All right, so I've got a whole list here of sessions that are going to be part of Couchbase Connect. I'm going to try to go through these sessions and just give you a little sneak peek at what's you can expect from these sessions. What I'm going to start with today is actually one of the workshops on the first day of the conference. This is a very popular workshop, the Nickel Workshop. It's a full day of a deep dive into Nickel, which is the SQL query language you can use to query docu documents in Couchbase. So I thought I would just show a little bit of Nickel off here, right here. So I've got Couchbase uh, Server Enterprise Edition 5.5. This is the current beta release you can download from Couchbase.com. And I've got a just a single node running on my local machine here on Windows. And I've got one bucket, well, I've got two buckets actually, but one bucket we're going to look at today called Travel Sample. This is some sample data that comes with Couchbase Server. It's 32,000 documents of travel-related stuff, uh, airlines and landmarks and hotels and all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm going to actually be querying that. Uh, here, so if I go click on query, I get this query workbench screen. I spend a lot of my time looking at this screen, writing in queries, look, analyzing the results, and things like that. So let's just keep it simple today. Now, keep in mind the nickel workshop is a full day. It's going to deep dive. You're going to get a lot more of what I'm going to show you here today. But just a sample, if you've never seen nickel before, uh, of how it works. So I've got this travel sample bucket over here. In Enterprise Edition, you get this nice little buckets in, bucket insights, which shows you the shape of the data that's inside uh, of the bucket. So we've got some things here, and I can zoom out a little because we're on a low resolution for the stream. But you can see it, it's found some landmarks, airport, airline, hotel, uh, and all the different fields that those documents have in common. So let's start by just querying some airlines. So we'll say from travel sample, and we'll alias that as A, and well, let's just Let's just limit, just not look at the whole bucket. We'll query the whole thing. We'll give me the first 10 results there in the bucket. So I'm saying limit 10, everything from travel sample. And you can see what it's returning is actually some airlines. So the results are in JSON here. This first one is an airline. The second one's also an airline and so on. But it's returning the first 10. If I selected from the whole bucket, it would give me 32,000 documents. So I want to narrow it down here to say where the type is airline. And I know that's there. If I go over here to my um, bucket insights, I can see if I look for airline, airline right here, it has this type field in common and the value is going to be airline. So if I select this, I'm now limiting it to just the airline documents. All right, and I can project specific fields out. I can say, okay, give me uh, the airline name and I'll just get the name back as my results. Okay, and I can also, there's also, um, let's see, there's also airports in here as well. Let's, I think it's airport. So airports don't have the name field. What do they have? We can say a.star. We can see airport name uh, and airport codes, things like that. We can also look at uh, routes. So this is one I think is most interesting. So we'll look at routes here. And did I mess up? Did I mess something up here? Travel sample, yep, I didn't put the alias in there correctly. So there we go. 
there are some routes and the routes have a destination airport and a source airport so if I wanted to find routes that are from my uh, hometown here of uh, Columbus source airport equals CMH and so now it gives me uh, 10 routes that are leaving from Columbus all right now suppose I want to find out okay let's see let's see uh, airline what airline they are airline ID and uh, that's probably good enough so I can see that okay th these are the different routes and the airlines that they are using coming out of Columbus I'm not really sure what these codes mean I don't, I don't memorize those offhand and we have this airline ID that points to another document in the bucket that will give us information about the airline but let's just start by saying okay what is the airline that's most popular flying out of Columbus so let's just do a count as total and to do a count we need to do a group by I'm going to take the limit off here and we'll group by uh, r.airline we don't even need this r.airline let's just say r.airline ID okay and let's order that by the highest count descending this is all pretty standard SQL stuff if you've oh, I've got it in the wrong order oh I made a typo there we go uh, pretty standard SQL stuff if you've ever written SQL before which I'm sure you have so we can see the most popular airline is 4547 not terribly useful for me I don't know what airline that is so the way I do this in a relational database is I in introduce a join which we can do in Couchbase uh, so I'm going to join this again to the travel sample bucket we'll join on airline and this is a new feature for enterprise or, or for Couchbase 5.5 is what's called an ANSI join. So this looks very much like a join you'd write in any relational database. We'll say on um, r dot airline ID equals a, or not, we'll say meta of a dot ID. So join this airline ID here to a document key of a. So meta, the, the document key in Couchbase is metadata about the document. It's not in the document itself. So we're going to join on that key. Kind of think of this like a primary key in relational. So we'll go ahead and do that join. That works. Then we'll have to bring in the actual name. So we can say a.name, which if we look over here, if we look for airline, we can see, yep, there's a name field. So we can depend on that being there. And let's take out the airline. And we can leave the airline ID in. Add this to the group by. Execute. And now we can see, okay, now we've got the name. The most popular airline that flies out of Columbus is Southwest. That checks out. Delta is number two, uh, US Airways, when they existed, number three, and so on. So that seems to be working just fine. So I've got the ability to do a join, do aggregates, and uh, get the information I need with just a few lines of SQL. The, this, is, this should look very familiar to you if you've written SQL before. The only weird parts is probably this here, where it's a bucket instead of a table, and this part here where we're getting the metadata uh, key instead of a primary key. Everything else should be pretty straightforward for you, very natural. This is one of the things I love about Couchbase is the ability to take all my SQL skills from my career and apply them right to a NoSQL database. Okay, so that's it for today. You're going to see a lot more nickel if you uh, come to the Couchbase Connect conference in New York. I'll just switch over here to give you some more information about this conference. May 9th through 10th in New York. You can register now. If you use the code there at the bottom of the screen, Dev Advocacy CC18, you're going to get free admission to the main conference day. Now, that does not include the workshops, but you'll get the main conference day. And I'll be talking more about Couchbase Connect and the type of content you're going to see as uh, in the next two weeks as we do some more live streaming here on YouTube. So if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see, make sure to... Whoops, sorry, wrong button. Make sure to email me up there or, or hit me on Twitter. And look at, for the old videos there at tinyurl.com slash cbcoding. Thanks very much for watching.